Hey, what's up, everybody? So the United States Mint has updated their previous statement about there being a global silver shortage. Now, most of you have probably already seen this statement. Either it hit your personal inbox or you have seen other videos. Salivate Metal did a video on this yesterday. A very awesome video. So if you haven't seen it, go check out Sal's video. But currently, that's the only video that I've seen as far as this statement is concerned. But so we're going to take a look. I'm going to read this statement to you. But more importantly, what I wanted to find out, I have seen numerous comments in my videos about how there's going to be no more Morgan Silver dollars for the rest of the year. And that could possibly be the case. We don't know if they're going to reschedule it for later this year, or maybe they just cannot get the blanks, the silver blanks, to be able to strike any more of the Morgan silver dollars for the rest of the year. But what my main concern is, is not so much with the rest of the Morgan silver dollars and the peace dollars, even though I would love to see that peace dollar be offered at some point this year. But who knows if it will or will not, although the law may mandate that these be released in 2021. But regardless, what I wanted to know is because of this statement right here, and we're going to read this, read this first, and then I'll get to what my concern is. In a message released Friday, May the 28th, we made reference to a global shortage of silver. In more precise terms, the silver shortage being experimented by the United States Mint pertains only to the supply of silver blanks among suppliers to the United States Mint. Please see the updated message below reflecting this clarification. The United States Mint is committed to providing the best possible online expertise to its customers. The Mint is being impacted by silver blank shortages among its suppliers. The demand for many of our bullion and numismatic products is at record heights and increasingly outpacing the supply of silver blanks available through our suppliers. This level of demand is felt most acutely by the Mint during the initial product release of numismatic items. Most recently, in the pre-order window for the 2021 Morgan Silver Dollars with the Carson City Privy Mark 21XC and New Orleans Privy Mark 21XD, the extraordinary volume of web traffic caused significant number of mint customers to experience website anomalies that resulted in their inability to complete transactions in the interest of properly rectifying the situation the mint is postponing the pre-order window for the remaining 2021 morgan and peace dollars that were originally scheduled for june the first and june the Seventh, I'll inconvenient too many. This deliberate delay will give the Mint the necessary time to obtain the web traffic management tools to enhance user experience. As demand remains higher than supply, the reality is such that not everyone will be able to purchase a coin. Now, this part here is that I really have a problem with because if not everybody can purchase a coin, then I also believe that not every dealer should be able to purchase bulk purchase orders early through the ABPP. Now, I already did a video on that. And I'm not going to go into that any more in deep length, but I'll just leave it at that. However, we are confident that during the postponement, we will be able to greatly improve our ability to deliver the utmost positive U.S. Mint experience that our customers deserve. That will remain to be seen, in my opinion, while we announce revised pre-order launch dates as soon as possible. 
Now, what I just did, I just got off the phone with the United States Mint customer service. And the lady who I spoke to, very nice, very helpful, um, answered all the questions that I had that she was able to answer. Now, what my question was, I have seen many uh, comments in the comment section of my videos that we may not get the CC privy marks, we may not get the uh, New Orleans privy mark Morgan Silver dollars if we ordered them. And my order, I only ordered the Carson City and that was on Wednesday. They went on sale on a Monday and I made my purchase on a Wednesday. I ordered a couple of the Carson City Morgan Silver dollars and my order currently is showing back order, which I believe most of the people who ordered them, whether it be on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, that the orders are showing back order. And I asked her about, specifically about that coin, the Carson City Morgan Silver dollar or the New Orleans Morgan Silver dollar. Is there a chance that these are going to be canceled and our orders will not be filled? And the response that I received from the customer service person is there should be no concern about it. My next question was about the 2021 Type 2 American Silver Eagle proof coins and uncirculated. Most of you have probably already seen the enrollment. Well, let's go take a look at it. Okay, the enrollment for all three of these coins is currently showing unavailable. Also, when I log into my account and I look at these in my enrollments, it is also saying, previously it was saying that you could no longer add additional coins to your enrollment for the West Point. Now it is saying that you can no longer add additional coins for any of these coins because of high demand. So the question that I had is, should I be concerned that any of these are going to be canceled, that I won't get them, and that I will not receive the multiples that I ordered because I ordered three of each plus four of the uncirculated American Silver Eagle. And she advised that the Mint customer service lady said that I should have no concerns about that as well because I enrolled before the enrollment was unavailable. They said that we should have no concerns about these products if we have already ordered them. As far as the Morgan Silver dollars and the Peace dollar, that was postponed. When is that going to come back? Who knows? Does it have to come back this year? Is Does the law specify that these have to be minted in the calendar year of 2021? I would think so. Most of the times when you read a bill, you pretty much, I mean, these are in legal terms. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.